podcasting from Hartford. You're listening to the Connecticut Scoreboard Podcast. Joining me today, we, we've got Pierce Brennan. He, he coached new UConn starting quarterback Tyler Pumachan over at Avon Old Farms. So, Coach Brennan, thanks so much for taking a few minutes to join me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. So I want to start with, with the easy question here. What were your thoughts on Tyler's debut yesterday? Uh, it was all, it was so much fun to watch, you know, and I, I think what we and everybody knows of Tyler uh, showed in that game, right? He's a, he's a poised competitor. Uh, he's a leader, right? For, for a true freshman to go in there, right? In Mikey stadium in front of a, you know, pretty hostile crowd and in a game day environment that I think, uh, you know, it's one of the best in college football, you know, and uh, against a really good, well-coached Army team. And um, I think he did a great job, right? I mean, certainly not the outcome that Tyler or the team or the fans wanted, but, you know, I think he uh, he showed what he can do and and what the, the future holds for UConn football. Take us through his time playing for you a little bit. What would you say, you know, impressed you the most about him while you coached him? Yeah, there, there was never anything that can get that kid down, right? Like he came in uh, in Tyson's senior year, so I mean he's a he's a quarterback that came in to to sit the bench in high school, right? So, um, well, fortunately and unfortunately, I think Tyson got an ankle injury like the third play of his senior year, so Tyler was was the guy pretty quick, but you know he came in and wanted to play running back and play receiver and, and do anything he could to get on the field, so. Um, he was that kid when he got there and uh, his junior year, our last year playing football before COVID, you know, he led us to an eight and one season and an undefeated conference record and, you know, two overtime wins and in, in games that we had no business winning. And um, that's just him, man. He's poised. He doesn't get rattled and, and his teammates want to play for him and his coaches trust them. What stood out to you about his leadership? qualities because I think that's pretty important when it comes to a quarterback of a college team especially someone coming in as a true freshman really to, to lead the group here yeah he's po- he's just a positive leader right he um he doesn't get down in bad times he doesn't get too high in good times uh he, he's pretty even mannered but you know his teammates kind of look to him for how to act right if things are going really bad and you know I think the bench wants to get down they look at Tyler and he's good. You know, he's, you know, he's on to the next series and doing what he can do to, to help, you know, win a game. And if things are going really good and kids want to pack it in a little bit, they look to Tyler and same thing. He knows that there's still a lot of football game left and kids look for him on, on kind of how to act. And it's just natural, right? There's nothing fake about what he does and, and the way he handles himself. From what you've seen from coaching him, what would you say is his biggest strength that's going to translate at this college level? Yeah, I, I think w- within the team, it's his leadership on the team uh, as a quarterback. And I think we you, everybody saw it yesterday. It's his ability to extend plays. Definitely. Right? It's, re- it's really hard for to, to get that kid down on the ground. And uh, we joked as a coaching staff every single year, there's no such thing as a bad snap with a Puma China quarterback. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and in high school football, you never know what that's going to look like with fastballs high or low or yeah. to the side or – they're just, you know, and I know we're talking about Tyler, but both those kids are just super athletic and they just do things that, you know, a lot of quarterbacks I think struggle with, right? Like they can scoop, a, you know, Tyler in particular can scoop a bad snap, keep his eyes downfield and just really extend that play. So, you know, I think it was on full display yesterday of his ability to do that. Yeah, I, th- I think one thing that impressed me the most yesterday was just his mobility and able to just keep these plays going. And, you know, when he could have thrown it away, he, he kept his eyes open for another receiver down the field and was able to find some guys. So whether, whether, whether some catches were able to be made was another story, but he, he was throwing it into them. And it looked, it looked impressive for a true freshman out there, you know, really starting his first game as a college quarterback. In terms of what you'd seen from him, if you're looking for him to take his game to the next level, what are what's an area or two, you know, that, that he can improve upon to, to really be, you know, top notch quarterback in, in an FBS level? Yeah, I think it's just timing. And I think I think people saw that yesterday. It's just getting the ball out of his hand on time. You know, he, he does extend the play so well. Uh, he just wants to be perfect. He doesn't want to throw a pick. He wants to wait for that perfect moment. Uh, but sometimes that perfect moment's a little bit quicker than, you know, especially at, at the FBS level and playing a team like Army, right? They're just yeah. moving around a split second faster. And, you know, so I think timing and getting the ball out on time is going to certainly, you know, improve him as he, as he progresses. 
Uh, I'll wrap up on this one. You know, given that you coached him here in Connecticut, you know, he's coming here to UConn and playing for the, the state flagship school. What, what, what's it like seeing a, a Connecticut kid here leading UConn as, as they're working on rebuilding and getting back to the heights they used to be at? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And, you know, and as uh, I'm not a Connecticut native, so, you know, seeing there's buzz, you know, I mean, I, I know New, UConn's had its struggles over the last couple of years, but I mean, just look at Twitter yesterday, right? There, yeah. There's, there's Connecticut buzz, you know, and I, I think it's great. I think it's something that UConn needs. I think it's something that that team needs and, you know, hopefully there's, there's some market improvement and, and people can get excited about watching UConn football again. Absolutely. Well, Coach Brennan, really appreciate the insight and giving us some background on Tyler. Looking forward to seeing what he can continue to do out there for UConn. So thanks so much for joining me today. Me too. Thanks for the time. Appreciate it.